Hey everybody, it's Jochen Heiden, and I'm back with an amazing update for the CB app. So, for those of you that have been watching my channel or maybe new, I have a couple videos out about the CB app, which is a program that helps you create a custom launcher for this game that optimizes it for modern computers. Well, the original site that it was hosted on went down, and we couldn't get a hold of the the gentleman that created it. His name is Korvar. So I had made another video as a workaround, but on a whim, I decided to send an email. And sure enough, Mr. Korvar uh, responded, and he's been very, very helpful. He's he's back. He's on my Discord now and contributing a lot of great information. And on top of that, he's updated his program for 2023. So this video that I'm going to make now kind of makes all my previous CV videos irrelevant because we have this new and improved version here, which is solving a lot of problems. So this is going to be the definitive CV video for now. And I want to show you first the new website that he's got, which I will, of course, put in the description. And it's great. It's got a nice new presentation. And he's even posted some nice uh, links to my YouTube channel and some threads and, and on the forums. And he's given you some updated download and install instructions. And the latest version of CB is available here. So really, this is an awesome update for CB. And now we have great contact with the guy who makes the program, so I don't think we'll ever have to worry about this going down again. So let me just get right into it. CB is an app that helps you uh, modify the game using custom switches that I made a different video about. If you want to do it manually, you watch that video. If you want to automate that process somewhat, you use the CB app. So let me show you how you get it. First, you go to this website, which again I will share in the video description. And if you'd like to read all this awesome information that Corvar has decided to put in here, you can, or you can just watch me here. So step one is we need to download this app, and then I'll show you how it works and why you need it. So to download it, you scroll all the way down to the bottom. So I use uh, Google Chrome, so it just downloads automatically. So I basically, it comes up to this thing here. I click the little download button right here. It's going to go through its thing. Wow. It's taking a while. Okay. It's downloaded. So, once it's downloaded, uh, here's what you're going to do. You just click on it down here. I always like to show in folder, right? So, this went into my downloads file. And for the sake of simplicity, let's do this. We'll take the file and put it right on the desktop. So the file comes as a zip file, so you're going to want to use a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. I use WinRAR because I think it's the best. So if you want to install CB on your computer, you're just going to right-click on it. And if you're using WinRAR, I just click Extract Files and let it go right to my desktop. Hit OK. And just like that, we have our CB. And I can delete that if I don't want it anymore. You open this up, open that up, and you just double click on the CB app right here. So one of the issues with the previous version of CB was after you agreed to this uh, end user agreement, right, which you should read and, and understand. Look, it's been updated for 2023. That's so great. When you would hit agree before, it would make you go to a mandatory update. And the problem was the old site went down, so the the program would never launch because it could never update itself. But Corvar has made it so that he skipped that mandatory update so it goes right into the program, which is a huge improvement already. So let me show you how this thing works. Uh, the whole point of this program is to help improve the performance of your game because the game was built on early 2000s computer technology, not the crazy stuff that we've got in 2021, 22, 23. So the game does not run well stock. Um, you can go in here and click different buttons to help try to improve the game. I'll try to walk through these briefly. And there's little tool tips for each one, right? This is Now, I'm going to guide you through what I think is going to work best on most people's computers now. But if you want to know more about what these switches do, you can check another video I've made, which I'll also link to find out what each one does. But for my computer, I run CPU single orders. CPU 2, and you can experiment with 1, 2, 3, or 4 to see what works best on your computer. I use Deep Color, DDSW, which is one of the most important um, 
uh, switches that you got here because this really helps the computer run better on a modern computer. I do not use this. Uh, I do not click this on because I like the animations. I do want to keep files in an archive. So this is good for people who want to use Combat Reporter or Warren Pacific Tracker or Intel Monkey. Uh, they feed off of these archive files. So clicking this button allows the game to create the archive file to put your Intel reports, your, your combat reports, the ops reports, all get archived every turn. You want that on. Okay, so this is where you go between windowed and full screen. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos in the past, and even if you haven't, I do not recommend full screen version for this game. I feel like it does not run well, and it is a bear if you like to alt tab out to your desktop. It just won't do it right. The game will crash. It'll get all weird. So what I do is I run my game in windowed mode. And this is kind of a, a double-edged sword here, these, these options. So you have full screen or windowed mode. But then you can also decide if you want to do auto saves on top of that. So for me, I like to do daily auto saves. So I click windowed mode and daily auto saves. If you have a different option, you just pick the one that's best for you. Again, I don't vouch for this game in full screen mode. I've never, it's never worked for me. I always play windowed, so I'm not messing with that. So, um, for those of you that have a, a big monitor, a widescreen monitor, and you want this game to display nice on your computer, I would recommend you click Force Resolution, and you can put in a resolution that you want the game to display in here. For, for me, I have two different uh, links to my games because I have one that takes up my whole screen. And I've got one that I use at 1920 by 1080 when I want to record uh, gameplay like a, a combat uh, resolution. So this is a standard 1920 by 1080p resolution. So you can start with this, but you can customize this basically infinitely, however it works for you. Okay. I use the alt font option here. I like to skip the intro video because I don't want to watch it every time. And I don't use fixed art because I like I like stuff moving around, okay? Okay, the next thing that's important here is this beta. This beta applies only to the 2.6 Bravo, 2.6B version of the game. So uh, what that means is that if you're going to run the 2.6B version of the game, which the bulk of the community still does, you would click yes because it changes the pathway to where that, where that version of the game runs out of. If you're running the 2.6A or the 2.7B, the, the latest braided version of the game, you would click no. Only 2.6B uses the, a different pathway. And I'll show you what that looks like when I do it. Um, okay, I run 2.6b, so I'm going to click yes. So one thing I might work with with Kovar here is making an update to CB and adding a little more um, visibility to what this entails since there's so many versions of the game available now. Again, if you're running 2.6b only, you click yes. If you're running 2.6a or 2.6, 2.7b, anything other than 2.6b, you click no. All right. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to click build shortcut now if you do that it's going to use the standard default installation pathway for where cb for where i'm sorry war in the pacific is installed on your computer in my case war in the pacific is installed in the default directory that it was intended to go into from day one if you have yours installed in some weird other place you would click manual browse uh, and you can manually navigate to wherever you installed your game mine is installed exactly where it was defaulted to so that's a non-issue for me so when you've uh, selected all the options you want here you're going to click build shortcut click it then you'll notice over here another uh, uh icon sorry a, a shortcut was made for the game so if i right click on this and go to properties you'll see created using CB version 0.2 alpha and it has all these extra switches in it see that it put them in custom based on your options now this is where the 26b differentiation dif bleh, differentiation differentiate the di <laughs> okay so I've been drinking uh, the 
the difference between the other game versions and 2.6 Bravo will be this beta 2. If you're running 2.6A or 2.7B or anything else, you won't have that in there. But since I run 2.6B, CB put that in for me because that's how you get to the game running that version. And there you go. All the rest of my switches are in here. And just to make sure it works, we're going to run it real quick. So I hit OK here. I'm going to hit Exit here because the job is done. And then we'll try out our new um, link. And here it is. And it's launching the game using all those custom um, command line switches that are going to optimize the game for my high-end computer in 2023. And boom. Coming right up. There we go. So now you know CB absolutely does work. And the reason the game looks like this is because I'm running a 4K monitor with 100%, 150% uh, magnification. So it's 4K but 150% in. So this is 1920 by 1080 inset onto a 4K monitor with 150% magnification. But it's perfectly playable like this, right? The game would look just fine on this. See? Looks great on this 4K monitor, right? But let's say I wanted to make this uh, take up more real estate on my computer, right? Well, here's what I would do. I would just delete this shortcut. I would launch CB again. I would just go ahead and re-enter re, uh, all the options that I want. Uh, and I would try something a little bit bigger. Let's go... I don't know, 2,500 by 1,300. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just guessing here, guys. And I leave the rest of that the same and click Build Shortcut. And let's just see what that looks like. So here's my new shortcut, and let's go look at it. And you'll see that it made a new custom resolution for me here. And let's just see what it looks like. I have no idea. It, it's not going to have the right aspect ratio, but hey, what, what the heck? Whoa, check that out. Oh, see, I forgot to turn off to skip the video. Okay. I See, I didn't click the right switch there. But look at this. This this new version of the this new uh, launcher that I made takes up way more of my screen. And then you can fine-tune this in even more, right? You can just keep dialing it in until you get it exactly where you want by incrementally changing the uh, resolution to fill out every little nook and cranny of your screen. But boom, look at that. The game looks the same, right? It doesn't look stretched. It doesn't look broken. It doesn't look anything. It looks great. It just There's more pixels being taken up on the screen. So CB can really help you dial in your game if you want it to. So I just want to show you uh, the new version of CB and just kind of put all my old versions of videos to sleep because this is all you need now. I hope you found this useful. Um, thank you so much, Corver, for coming back and rejoining our community. You've been a great asset to us and we look forward to working with you more in the future. But if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the video comments or come out of my Discord. You can talk to me or you can talk to Corver yourself because he's very accessible and a great dude. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.